Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you our six to nine month baby favorites and must haves. If you're new here, my name is Erica. I have a three and a half year old toddler named Hugo and an almost 10 month old baby named Theodore. And I wanted to sit down, share with you some of our absolute favorite products as well as some must haves that we've used nearly every single day since Theodore turned six months old. So let's jump right in to these six to nine month baby favorites. I'm gonna start with the thing that I am currently using. If you are not new here, then you know that I have quite the saga with baby monitors. It's been so hard for us to find a good one. This one, knock on wood, has so far been really good. It's the Hello Baby Baby Monitor. I'm currently using it. We just put down Theodore for a nap and so far, so good. It doesn't have a huge screen. So this isn't one of those really big sort of HD screens that have a really, really clear picture. But this, I believe, was under $100, if not like right around 100 And so far, we haven't had any issues with it. Battery life has been great. Haven't had any issues with the like port for the plug-in for the charger just like everything so far has been good it does what it needs to do it's a picture it's very straightforward i will link this as well as everything down below um, i will also say that like none of this stuff was given to me none of this stuff is like sponsored or anything um not that that ever changes my opinion on things but just for full transparency i bought this with my own money and it's freaking good so <laughs> That is a win. Okay, let's jump into feeding. Our favorite bottles are the Como Tomo bottles. Now I know that really at the end of the day, it's your baby who decides what type of bottle they're going to take if they're even taking a bottle. But Theodore and Hugo both really enjoyed and took the Como Tomo bottles. Even while I was breastfeeding, this was a bottle that we would give them when we needed to bottle feed them. And the thing that I love about these coming from like a mom view is that they're so freaking easy to clean. They're so easy to clean. They don't come with a lot of parts. I really like the Dr. Brown's bottles. I do and they're really good if your little one um, has reflux or gas or anything. But these are so great because they do not have a million pieces. They're just, you know, two, three pieces if you take out the silicone nipple to clean out the ring. They're so straightforward. They can hold eight ounces of milk. I love them. Like, couldn't do bottle feeding without them. And then I wanted to give a little shout out to our formula because I've mentioned in the past, um, I've talked about our formula journey and especially like from transitioning from breastfeeding to formula. We are currently using and Theodore is loving the Earth's Best Organic Dairy Infant Formula. So I ended up switching. I originally was using Kenzamil, which is a UK European formula and that was good but we were running into i live in america i live on the east coast and we were running into a lot of shipping issues the distributor that we were ordering from was having a lot of delays and issues with just what's going on in the world in getting their shipments of kendamil from the uk and so it was so hard to unless i bought the formula in bulk which like cost wise if you do the math, I'm sure it probably saves you a little bit of money, but to shell out like, you know, $500 for eight cans of formula, like in one go, just feels a little bit daunting and isn't something that we did. Um, so I was just buying like a couple cans in an order and it just wasn't, it wasn't timing out right. And we tried this on a day that we had run out of the UK formula and I just felt like Theodore digested it better than the Kenzamil. You know, each baby to each baby their own. Every baby is different, but I was pleasantly surprised with how much he ate of this and how well he digested it. We didn't have any reflex issues. I felt like when he was drinking the Kenzamil, he was spinning up a lot. Again, every baby is different. So we've been using this been loving it i get it right off amazon too so it's really easy like the shipping is very predictable and if for some reason we don't have some like the other day we ran out we're able to just run to our local grocery store and pick some up so 
big win loving this formula let's talk a couple more feeding things because six to nine months is that really fun time where your baby might start sampling some table food they might start eating some purees and then some like little bits of food it's a really really fun time so this is newly washed which is why it is wet guys get yourself like if we're talking must-haves a silicone bib just fully silicone don't bother with the cloth bibs don't bother with the bibs that are half silicone half something else like just go full silicone go full silicone it's so easy to clean so easy to clean it takes a few seconds you don't have to worry about like i could just wipe this down with a dishcloth and then it's dry and like it rolls up it's so easy to store like just get yourself i'll link some down below easy peasy so great two snacks that are a huge favorite of theodore's are the happy baby organic teethers as well as the happy baby superfood puffs both of these hugo ate too and so i was expecting these to come back around so cute that we are like at that stage again so something that i love about these teethers they dissolve very easily so if your baby is at the beginning stages they say that like to eat these teethers your baby should be sitting up should be able to like bring their hand to their mouth the thing that I love about these is that they're very easy for your baby to eat and because they dissolve, you don't, you should always obviously be sitting there with your baby as they eat these, but it's a little bit less anxiety inducing, especially in the beginning when your baby first starts eating things and is gumming things and doesn't have a whole lot of teeth. The other thing that I love about these is that we put hummus on them or peanut butter. It's just a way to jazz them up. Like once your baby is super comfortable eating these and once your baby is like comfortable eating different foods, um, you can always put things on the crackers and it's like a little hors d'oeuvre for your little one. And then the puffs are just like pretty self self-explanatory they're just puffs um they are made without cane syrup they have antioxidants in them vitamin b12 they're just like great organic puffs and theodore loves them i do want to give a little shout out to the sarah belly food packets the little puree packets they have some really fantastic ingredients in them they are fully organic and really really clean i think they were awarded like the purity award or something and they have really really nice mixtures of foods too so if you are looking for baby puree packets at your local grocery store check out sour belly we really like those if you are making baby food at home then you know it's a love-hate relationship with this thing i've talked about it a lot <laughs> This is the, I think it's pronounced Beba, the Beba food processor, food maker. It's a steamer and a processor in one. It's a love-hate relationship because there are things that I love about this machine. We use it every, every day, but then there are also things where I'm just like, you know, why? Why was it made that way? I hate that about it. Let me explain. So the pros of this machine is that it's really, really really easy to use extremely easy if you want to make your baby's food at home save a whole bunch of money just like make sure you know everything that's in going inside your baby's food making it fresh every day like this this is a great machine for that it's very luxe it's very beautiful to look at on, on the kitchen counter they have a whole like range of colors and it's just overall it's a very it's very <laughs> I like hesitate to say well made it's it's well made in that i've been using it every day and it's never died out on me right use it every day it functions well it does the job it's a really nice machine to have if if you have multiple children because i find that like if i'm making theodore's dinner and hugo's dinner at the same time i can make theodore's dinner here i can make hugo's on the stove they're separate is it super necessary no it is a luxury item but it's it's been nice to have now let me just talk about some of the cons just to put them out there the first one is it's quite difficult to clean there's just some like weird pieces weird pieces um just like weird crevices that like never really get clean it's, it's a bit of an odd odd design um the other thing that sort of irks me about the machine is so here is the inside is the blender and the blade the blade is pretty difficult to clean there is a way to like take this apart and to clean it um the blade also you it's hard to make a little bit of baby food so really your best bet is to make a whole bunch and then to freeze some i haven't necessarily been doing that i've been doing a little bit of baby food and especially in the beginning when i wanted to give theodore more purees it was it was quite difficult i did have to make a little bit more and then put some in the fridge just don't love that design then um here is the steamer basket 
the plastic handle and the plastic top that go on top get really, 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 really hot when you're steaming. That is just some, like, to me, I just wish it w wouldn't get so hot because it's very hard to handle when your vegetables have been steamed and then when you're going to put them into the blender, like you have to be very, very careful because the plastic pieces are very, very hot. So that's what I would say about this machine. It's a love-hate relationship. Again, use it every single day. I am grateful that it works very well. It's been working day in and day out, but do you absolutely need it? No, just the weird one I thought I'd toss in there. Products that are must-haves are baby soap, baby lotion, baby sunscreen. The brand that I absolutely love and cannot rave about more is the Babo Botanicals line. This is an amazing line. Baby was born yesterday up until, I mean, I use some of these products. So this is just a really great brand to introduce into your life if you're looking for lotion, sunscreen, body wash, just anything that is really, really pure but works. So we have here the Babo Botanicals. I, my favorite line is their fragrance-free sensitive baby line. So this is the packaging. Um, this is their body lotion. I've been using this on both of my sons. So I will use this on my three and a half year old who um, gets like little eczema patches as well as my baby. And both of them actually have really, really dry skin, which is something that I must have passed down to them. I tend to have really, really dry skin. Both of them have really, really dry skin. So I have to really lather them up with lotion after their bath time and just like whenever they need it. And I found that this lotion has been really, really great. It really helps moisturize their skin. It's mineral oil free, vegan, steroid free, dermatologist tested, allergy tested, gluten, soy, dairy free, paraben and phthalate free, hypoallergenic, non-greasy, which I can attest to. It's just cruelty free. It's really fantastic it's a really 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 great brand um we've also been using their moisturizing baby bubble bath and wash i was originally using their fragrance free bubble bath bubble wash but i couldn't find it the last couple of times that i went to the grocery store i got this off of whole foods um, i'll try to link it down below so i picked this up this is for their sensitive and dry skin it says it cleanses and moisturizes. It's gentle, mild, and pure, which is what I was looking for. It's tear-free, which is obviously like perfect for little ones. And it's just great. This does have a little scent to it. Yeah, this does have a little bit of a scent to it. Um, so if you're looking for fragrance-free, definitely look for this like white one, but it's really nice and it does bubble up. It's not gonna make those like big, big artificial bubbles, um, but it's a fun time. I really love this and then the sunscreen that we use is this babo botanicals this is the baby skin their baby mineral um line the focusing there we go um this is the one i actually had packed in hugo's uh, camp bag this is spf 50 i love the sunscreen guys this is the best sunscreen for your little ones again this is for sensitive skin it's 100 non nano zinc oxide vegan gluten-free soy dairy-free rich in antioxidants antioxidants um it doesn't have any of that bad stuff it's not it is cruelty free and it's just fantastic it's re friendly this is just the best sunscreen i use this on my face too and it doesn't like it makes my face a little bit white right when i put it on but once it's absorbed it's great it's like i don't know i've never had an issue with it so could not recommend babo botanicals more talk sleep a little bit i know i had mentioned the baby monitor at the top of this video two other things that i wanted to mention that are favorites slash must have the first is a must have it is a sound machine a sound machine a sound machine we use the hatch uh hatch baby hatch sound machine I'd say any sound machine. I do love the hatch. So if you're asking me which sound machine I recommend, which one I really love and adore, the hatch has been wonderful. We have one in my toddler's room and one in the baby's room. Um, just get yourself a sound machine. Then the other thing I wanted to mention are sleeping bags. So Theodore was in the snoo up until maybe six months give or take and the snoo has special swaddles that clip into it so we didn't need to like use any other swaddles while he was in the snoo but then he transitioned into his crib and i knew that i wanted him in some sort of sleeping bag 
sleep suit apparatus um, just to keep him warm and keep him snug um, and that he was sort of used to being in a swaddle already. So I got two different kinds of sleep bags. The first is the Kite Baby sleep bag. So this isn't a swaddle in that there's nothing that like swaddles or tightens around their chest or their torso but the little arms go through the side here head goes through the top you zipper it up and essentially what this is great for is again just keeping them warm the cool thing about the kite baby sleep sacks is that they are made with fibers that will absorb the heat and keep your baby warm if they're cold and vice versa if they're hot so if they're hot they will uh, this like sleep suit won't hold in the heat um like traditional cotton would but if they are cold it'll keep your baby nice and snug so they have three different thicknesses i guess 0.5 1.0 and 1.5 i got 1.0 in both of them i got two um and they've been really really great i picked up two because they need to be hung to dry and you know you don't want to be stuck in a position where your one sleeping bag is wet and you have nothing for baby to sleep in so i picked up two so that we could you know switch between the two the other sleeping bag that i really love are the burt's bees they are 100 percent cotton and they can go in the dryer which is fantastic um the only thing with those is that they aren't as thick as these are so it doesn't I don't know to me it doesn't feel quite as cozy um, but they're great if it's a little bit hotter out or if you're sleeping in a warmer environment those can be really fantastic and yeah love both I wanted to give a shout out to the bumbo little floor seat because we just came back from vacation this is something that is just great if you do a lot of traveling or are going to other people's houses and you need a um what a high chair that can travel with you get something like this bumbo floor seat i'll pop a picture up here this is just so great so it's a little seat it does come with straps so that you can hook it to an actual chair you can just put it on the floor though it comes with a little table a little table insert so your little one can have a little table in front of them we just took this on vacation for theodore it was per it was perfect i cannot recommend this more the other thing that we just brought on vacation that i wanted to give a little shout out to is the four moms play yard the four moms go breeze or breeze go play yard this was great again if you're doing some traveling if you want like a pack and play play yard situation i recommend this one um, it's just really well made really easy to open really easy to close we used it for theodore um, for him to sleep in while we were away and it was just a great product quickly just talk about strollers and transport and stuff like that um, we're still using the argo baby when we want to carry theodore and hold him on us he's getting to that point now where he's like getting a little bit big getting a little bit heavy so it's not my first First, that's not the first thing I want to use but I was teaching at a dance summer camp and there were a few times where he did not want to be in the pack and play he wanted to be near me and on me so I had him in the ergo baby and it was really great so I'm sure a lot of you have an ergo baby or some sort of baby carrier we just happen to really love the ergo baby and then in terms of stroller we just got the um what's it called the baby jogger city mini gt2 i think it's called maybe i got some of those words out of place um but it's a double stroller it's really fantastic too um we've only had it for a few weeks so it's hard for me to give like a solid review but we haven't had any issues with it and it's been really nice for a toddler and a baby stroller that we have had that i want to recommend to you guys because we've had it for years and years and years and i made a whole video on it is the chico bravo umbrella stroller like easy open easy close stroller it is a single stroller however if you are just looking for a quick and easy to use stroller to take with you and your baby and you don't need a double stroller this one i highly highly recommend it is so wonderful it's done us so well we used it to death we brought it everywhere airports vacations cruises it's just been such a wonderful stroller and definitely the one that i recommend the last thing that i just want to finish on is a fun toy as a fun toy i mean at this age from the six to nine month i found that theodore didn't really care what it was toy wise and like didn't necessarily get pulled toward toys because of their function it was more just so like how can these toys work for me in the moment as i'm discovering just like surroundings around me and the toy that like beat all the other toys were these pop fidgets i'm sure you've seen these around these are the little silicone toys that have the little bobbles and you push them and i mean really all ages freaking love these things right my toddler is obsessed with these i got this two pack off amazon 
My kids freaking love these. They are just great. The reason that I'm including them in this video is not necessarily because my baby was like, had such a good time pressing these bubbles, more so for teething, more so for teething. So it has all these like ridges um, and different textures, but it's silicone, so it's safe. And I found that on car trips, long car trips, just like anywhere around the house, he'd pick up one of these and be gnawing, especially this Triceratops, this dinosaur, because it has the little sort of tail at the end. He loves teething on this part, as well as the little horn. It's just, it's so great. It's so, so great. So if you have kids in your house, um, like an older, maybe toddler who is obsessed with these little popping fidgets, I feel like all ages are at the moment, um, get a few packs of these because it can entertain your older kids as well as the babies. And that's it guys. Those are all of my six to nine month baby favorites and must haves. If there's anything that I missed or anything that you wanna contribute, definitely leave it down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.